<laughs> All right, welcome back to a follow-up video on Fragile. Now, in case you missed the first one, I'll have a link for you up in the upper right corner of the screen. Check that one out. But I encourage you to check that one out in particular because this is kind of a different game that we normally play here. As I've mentioned with the first video, I like to have fun with the videos, entertain you guys as much as possible. But this is a type of different game where I don't feel as comfortable, you know, being quirky Falcon as I normally am because this game deals with serious matters, obviously, as we covered with the first one. So I'm not here to depress you, obviously. We're still going to have a slight bit of fun. But the game is still, you know, very serious in the subject matter. So keep that in mind as we go forward. So let's see what happens here as we go through this vent. We have an opening here that we can see. Yeah, this might be the part where, um, we mentioned, um, child abductions, right? And I mentioned, or at least I alluded to something else as well. Well, that is indeed the organ trafficking as well. And if I'm seeing, yeah, if I'm seeing medic medicinal tables, I guess, down there below and homeboy here wrapped up with all sorts of medical equipment, washing his hands, I have a... Suspicion what's about to go down here pretty soon. Not really the most sterile area, I would say, right? And we have yarn. Interact. Freedom is close. Oh. Is that the same guy from earlier? I mean, I can tell you that it was a bad idea, but it does seem that the vent ends here, so they had to get down, so... No, it's not the time to read right now. Can we still help him? Yeah, that's a dude from earlier, I think. It's really disturbing. I mean, the kid's unconscious as well, like, he grabbed him? I guess he's, he went unconscious the moment this guy pulled him down and he slammed onto the floor? Jeez. Man, they didn't waste any time. They did not waste any time. What did they just slap him onto the table and start cutting him open? Yo, these guys are terrifying looking too. Alright. Oh, we have a chase scene. What is this gonna entail? Yo, what the hell happened to them? They're like monsters from Silent Hill now. Up and X. Oh, we have QTE. I love QTE. Right and one. I hate QTEs when I have to use a thumbstick, by the way. I'd rather use a D-pad, but... Down and A. So far, so good. This is like straight nightmare fuel, by the way, what's happening here. Oh, you know what, though? I should allow myself to get caught. Just so that we can see some of the other scenes. You know what? If we could get through it right now, since we seem to be at the end, it's fine. I could always reload the chapter and just do that part again and show you the other scene at the end of the video. Let's do it. Let's do it that way. This game is beautiful, by the way. Like, the art on, on it. Like, you know, it's nothing like, you know, impressively graphically, like, you know, realistic, right? Hyper-realism, but at least just, like, you know, art direction. The lighting, the shadows, absolutely gorgeous looking game. I'm trying to understand why, like, the edges of the screen are, like, it seems to be, like, either frozen over or, like, broken cracked glass. The game's called Fragile, so I wonder if that's, like, some sort of connection to that. Okay. Well, that was a fortunate fall, I would say. Interact? Sure. Mathematique. Number 17, the police came and interrogated us one by one. The owner of the mine is dead. His decapitated body was found, but his head is missing. How awful. Small footprints of a child were found at the crime scene. The son of the mine owner is missing. I hope he's alive and well. Anyway, despite all this madness, I will come back to you soon, my love. Oh, this could be the... Um, we, I believe we read 
last video a note about a guy saying that he'd have enough money to send to his family or something. So that could be like, you know, the same person writing that. Before we go too far over there, let me just check if there's something over here because I want to make sure we grab everything. Oh. Seems like a clue for something in the future. What is this? Some sort of oven or something? Not an oven, I don't think. And if so, anyway, but what the hell is this? So, okay, we have numbers. 9, 8, 1, 7. Okay, wait, wait, wait. 24 was circled. So, 2 and 4? Oh, wait, wait, wait. They, they, they changed, though. They're now 3 and 11. Would it be multiplication, somehow? Like, uh, what makes 24? 8 times 3 would make 24? Uh, 6 times 4 would make 24? So, okay, okay. So, 6 times 4 would be 24. Red. Damn it. Okay. What if all the same colors have to be 24? So, for instance, 12 times 2 would be 24. 8 times 3 would be 24 with blues. Oh, he is a genius sometimes. Okay. Let's... Oh, no, not you again. Well, I mean, you didn't kill me last time, but I had to play a game with you, which I still don't understand too well. Best student. Oh, look at that, he's got a Game Boy. Portable gaming console, I mean, not sure where that extra green button came from, and where you're starting to select, but, you know, it's very similar. Um, I will speak to you soon, maybe I just want to look around first and just see if there's any other clues or lore for us to check out. This is the second time we've um, had a mirror where the girl could just look at herself. Alright, let's do this. Oh god, not another one of those games <laughs> that I understand. Can we just play like tic-tac-toe? I'm, I'm fairly good at tic-tac-toe, especially if you let me go first. It might come as a shocker, but I'm actually still on the very first attempt and I finally figured out the level. So it's still cheesable if you just figure out the power level. So for that one, we need to do two, which is the lowest one. As long as you keep it on the lower levels, it's actually very simple. He's gonna move right there forward. For, so this one, we need the entire loop. So for that one, we have to go, I think, roughly here is for the entire loop. Got it. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mongolian Script Dictionary. Hmm. Feel like you're letting me know about this for a reason, huh, game? So I gotta probably remember those symbols there for those numbers. So, intriguing. <laughs> oh, dude. Don't do that right now. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to duck here. I don't feel like we have to duck. I'm just gonna walk here just in case we can check everything out. Family portrait. Okay, so this could be him again. So we're just reminiscing about our family here, too. Apparently, yeah. Just hoping we could read that. Freedom. In... I think that's paint. I think that's blood. Hard to say. It looks more like paint, though, but... Who knows? Oh, we have a safe. Hmm. Well, that's probably where those numbers that we saw are gonna have to come through. Problem is, what would be the combination? Sure, sure gay expedition was a success. Sure gay expedition. Well, the only clue that we have right now is going to be numbers, so we have to keep our scope limited to just numbers for now. Great puzzle book, engineering, mad puzzle. That's physics. Puzzles and engineering books. Two hours later. Alright, so I'm gonna give you guys a bit of an update here. I've been looking around this room for a while. You don't even know how long. I'll make sure to cut all that off for your benefit, but... I've been looking around hoping that I could, you know, buy something I missed. I even interacted with the safe thinking, well, maybe if I mess around with it and I enter some numbers, I'll obviously fail. 
and something will suddenly pop up in the room that I can now interact with. That's not the case. I can't even speak to the child as well, who's apparently tinkering out with some toy. So I know it has to obviously do with this. I even went back and checked out all the lords that we picked up, just going like, you know, maybe there's something here that I missed, but nothing that really stands out. So I'm hoping that we can maybe backtrack a little bit and there's something somewhere else because it can't be in that room. I've, I've scoured up, down, left, right, you name it. This was just a mirror from earlier, which apparently didn't really... You... Absolute madman. I'd be lying to you if I told you that I picked this up just now by looking at the symbols, because I have not. <laughs> the arrows were what gave it away just now. This has to be it, right? Okay, now we just gotta match that up. That, that could be the three, the second one. The first one, I have no clue. Ten, maybe? I think that's three. Um, the last one could be a five, if I remember correctly. Let's see, alright, so... We should be able to pull up the lore from here, as I've mentioned. Where... There it is, okay. Okay. Finish all puzzles. Oh, there's still one missing. So we're not done just yet. That one... A little bit confusing. But you had to go... I was going from... 10... What was it that I have here? Screen turned off. 10, 3, 13, 5. Um, with the arrows, but I, I... The numbers had to be reversed as well, along with the arrows. So, that threw me off momentarily, but... We got it. That's the important part. So... Um, you want me to go down there with the gun, right? It seems to be an equipable item now, oddly enough. Oh. Stairs there. <laughs> I thought it was just a hole down. Okay, so... Proceed even further... Down below. And... Where we go? Nobody... Nah, dude, you, you, you were cut open. We saw it. Yeah, I'm, I'm creeping around for this one, I'm sorry to say. The moment we start seeing the image of the kid who we saw apparently harvested for organs. Uh, So, you know what? That explains the, um, what happened in this little scene right there. The cracking in the mirror. So, it's definitely supposed to, the screen is cracking because it's probably representing her, or her state of mind. She's a child. I mean, as a grown-ass adult, I'm not sure how it would probably deal with seeing, like, a bunch of harvested bodies of children thrown on piles over here. I can only imagine for a small kid, she's, that's kind of cool, she's literally avoiding it. The animation for her, that's, that's really cool. I mean, it's sad, but it's a cool little attention to detail. Interesting choice of having rabbits, though, huh? That's super weird. It's like kid toys. Alright. <laughs> this is super weird, dude. Why are there a bunch of rabbits down here? Carnival Hunt coming soon. Oh, it's... Another game from the developer, maybe? I mean, if this is any um, indication of what they're up, what they're capable of, I'm definitely going to look forward to that one as well. Alright, rabbits. 
So we're gonna be pulling this backward, I guess, unless there's something hidden back here. Like, let go of it? Oh! Oh. Oh, you know what? Maybe it seems to be attached to something. So that's gonna be pulling it over. I guess we basically pull it all the way back, let go, and the force should break that open for us. Second try. Third time's the charm, right? Well, I went back to see if we had missed something. And... Well, you saw it. Jesus, this game doesn't pull back any punches, dude. Look at that kid's eyes. Oh, okay, so use the matches over here at the end. Is that a... Like, when we saw it, I thought that we were like seeing a shadow in the back, but I thought it was like, of her own shadow. But look at the walls over here. It looks like there's a kid here, right where we're at right now, with a toy bear dangling around, and we did see that toy bear over there. And then over here, we see like one like maybe playing with a yo-yo as well. So if we pull this back... Yeah, you see, so there's the kid with the bear, the kid playing with the yo-yo. And then, well, this one's just kind of like swinging back and forth. And the last one, I'm not really sure what he's doing, like you know, rubbing his hands together or something. Okay. There we go. Jeez Louise. Oh, that was her last puzzle as well. I'm not sure if you guys could pick up that children laughing in the background, but it's totally there. Want to just come back here and just see the rabbits are now, all of them are gone from here. So we've set them loose. Could the rabbits be like some sort of uh, interpretation of like the soul of the children, say for instance, like being free? Maybe. Could definitely be. Hmm. Well, we've reached the part of the game apparently where full on slabs of meat. Fortunately, those aren't um, bodies of kids. Those are fairly animal like, at least, so there is that. We are unfortunately wrapping up here in time, though. Let's check out what this note has to tell us. My poor mother, forgive me. Forgive me that I left you alone when you were sick for a few dirty coins. Forgive me that I was not there to warm your cold feet. Forgive me that I was not there with your last breath. Who could that have been? Who knows? Maybe it seems to be like a worker, though. It seems to be like in the coat of a worker. Oh, yeah. Well, that's something, right? We're out of time. I'm going to wrap it up here for this, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This has been Fragile. Fragile. How do you guys say that? Fragile or fragile? It's one of those things that just depends on the person, right? Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, I think you know what? No. We'll come back and we'll finish this up. Let me check. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We could definitely do the next one in one video. You know what? Tune in for the next one. We'll wrap this story up as well. Bad idea.